Welcome to another episode of the Coffee Conversations powered by Lions Club of Mumbai Shining, the Emerging India Forum TIFF, Indian Business Group Chamber of Commerce, IBG. Today's theme is Tree Shakti, energy within you, around you. And today's topic is 25 surprising facts about concentration enhancement coaches. Today with us, we have Ruby Wadwa, a concentration enhancement coach. She can help parents engage their children for four hours without expensive toys or gadgets using her proven techniques and techniques. She is also a trainer, parenting coach, an excellent problem solver. She, is, she has a bag full of skill set as an NLP coach, a certified storyteller, and also a left and right brain synchronization coach. She uses multiple intelligence theories to analyze the strengths and weaknesses of children throughout their weakness, throughout their strength, sorry, helps them overcome their weaknesses. Her expertise is to stretch attention spans of children to minimum 45 minutes to two hours and, her concent and concentrate on their abilities to score good marks and lead a productive life. Welcome, Ruby, on our conversations. That's Thank you so much. Just for one, on one hand, too many. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so before we begin the conversation, uh, Ruby, would you like to tell us something about uh, your educational background? If I talk like that, I'm just a graduate in <laughs> no, too many degrees, <laughs> but I'm still learning, you know that? I've done so many courses, so many courses, I don't know. I don't have any records, you know what, Should I, if I start counting, um, I did BSc General, I wanted okay. to become a doctor, you know? And uh, I didn't become a doctor, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing today and that was the time I had gone into depression. And I'm laughing at that. Uh, why Why should I have you know, gone into depression because of that? Now, and just after, right after that, I completed my BSc and then you know, I discovered I'd wasted my time. I'm so good at art and craft. <laughs> I'm an artist, you know that. And I did interior designing. I was so good at decorating uh, my house. And uh, I wanted to learn the science behind decoration, you know, how you can make a space look bigger and the colors and all, you know, I did that. Everything I did with a lot of passion, you know, everything was my passion. I can't say that, you know, I was uh, not interested in, in it. I gave all my heart and soul to everything I learned in my life. So that was probably, that is the reason, you know, I'm still learning, I'm still learning. And everybody's like, kitne course karne te, aur kitna seekhna hai? you know i go on adding then after i got married i um you know my family life started and then after a few years i wanted again i wanted to work i did export marketing you know i put up an ex exhibition at obroys and uh, of my paintings you know my i delivered my second child and i was like on at it you know i have to do something i have to do something you know that fire was still burning right. inside me i have to do something i have to do something so my son turned one and i Put up an exhibition and then after that i wanted to do export marketing because i was getting export orders over there you know that uh, small spark of doing something was growing bigger and bigger then uh, we created sakar creation for that you know that was my first venture i should say <laughs> it's not easy i discovered export marketing is not easy and my husband was not ready to give up his business he was too busy in his own work and doing business you know again yourself is not an easy job it's so lovely. then i got in touch with educational technologies and that time you know i thought i know so much <laughs> i'm a learned person <laughs> and over the years you know when i joined etl there was i realized there was so much to be learned my uh, daughter you know by the time my daughter was there i was 100 percent with her when mm -hmm. my son came by i was you know settling myself i started working and uh, he was just two and a half when I discovered that, uh, you know, I got a complaint from his school. He was in play school and I got a complaint. He cannot pick up colors. Okay. That was the shock of my life. You know, it was like, <laughs> how can my child be so dumb? So, <laughs> no, we will that, get along from that. Don't worry. Those, those are the answers that you have to wait for the first round. We have got to go yeah. step by step. Ruby. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a long conversation ahead. Don't worry on that. So initially, yeah, yeah. Uh, as you said, uh, you're a graduate. That's like the yeah. statement. 
but that yes, thing yeah but it's, it's all it's like so like you know it can't be summarized like i just read your intro over there and you know <laughs> just said just a graduate nahi ho hi nahi sakta this woman who i'm currently talking to has done a lot in life so i want to start with the first thing right now we want to start with as you being a storyteller right you had created something known as story smith yeah could you tell us like how did story smith come into your mind and how did it work out because i know you have like been in work for more than 18 plus years with educational technologies and everything and then you have been in corporate yourself with a unit sales manager how did all this come alive the storytelling part you know what uh, we talk about marketing but uh, for marketing you need stories you know that yeah that so is stories tell beautifully people start connecting getting bonded with you so easily so you know i used to meet parents to sell that product and that was quite an expensive product in our times it was about 1.5 lakh you know that okay and uh, everybody used to ask me pagal hai kya kya <laughs> बेचने में लगी है यू नो बट आई वॉज सो आई वॉज पैशनेट अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट यू नो इट वॉज लाइक यू नो गेटिंग इन टू द माइंड ऑफ यूर चाइल्ड एंड यू नो क्रिएटिंग समथिंग ब्यूटिफुल लाइक इट वॉज अबाउट कॉग्नेटिव स्किल्स वैल्यूज नॉलेज क्रिएशन एंड ऑल थ्रू यू नो ब्यूटिफुल वेज एंड मीन्स यू नो यू दिस दिस अ पैसेज टू अ चाइल्ड इज माइंड यू हैव टू गेट डाउन टू हिज लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग so i was really passionate about it and for 18 years i kept working with parents you know i used to meet i was very fond of have i have a people's person i used to meet parents and every time i met i knew a story you know there used to be a story behind that so okay. many kinds of people and you know so many kinds of children so many problems within the houses but beautiful pe- people you know living behind the doors so you know i had by that time you know that uh, while i was working with etl there were so many uh, you know targets and all that you know every year you know i used to fulfill one target of uh, a conference and that used be used to be like uh, izzat ka sawal i have to do it <laughs> so every year one foreign trip you know i was so addicted to i was very fond of traveling so wo to karna hi karna hai you know i that was like you know how can i not do something like this so one target of that and after that you know i used to focus with that job i could you know uh, work with my children as well you mm-hmm. know my own problems my own children whatever problems i was going through i could understand you know what what is the reason behind that and how can i bring out the best in my children so it helped me a lot and in my whole journey you know i was help already working with parents and children so uh, there comes a you know saturation point where you know i i felt i should work with children now okay i mean you know what i'm so passionate about children I, if i'm even going to a mall or any marketplace if a small child is there with a lady he'll jump on to me you know i get attracted okay. to children so much and children get attracted to me i don't It's know what is there but yeah I, i just love children so much <laughs> so you know i got a little i should not say bored of it but i wanted to take up a new challenge i wanted to climb down that mountain to climb another mountain okay. so story smith was uh, you know going on in my mind and uh, in november i decided gone for a conference to uh, uh, on a cruise or to dubai okay. and uh, over there only you know everybody was dancing enjoying and all i was sitting and thinking about myself and i i just shared it with one of my friends i think i should now work with children she said kya ho gaya tujhe kya ho gaya i said i don't know why but uh, i don't feel like dancing i, do, I don't feel like you know a theek hai matlab conference ho gaya i do enjoy earning all these laurels but i think i should work with children now that's uh, this something calling from within you know there's a call coming from within i should start working with uh, children she said um, you take your time think about it aise mat decide kar le kar ekdam se tera ek aata hai decision nikal ke aise mat kiya impulse and think three times <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, you know november that was uh, i was there on the cruise and when i came back uh, in february uh, i opened my learning center okay so it was that so, prompt you know okay so stories then, mat stories mat right yeah so then and, um, so when you, when stories which started then how did you approach the children outside and approach the parents like aao mere paas aao main aapko stories ye karungi how did that work out 
see uh, i was trying to teach cognitive skills and uh, values to stories only i had oh. a bunch of stories and a lot of customers in the vicinity you know and i was popular as ruby ma'am only okay so so a lot of customers they came by and they they were there with me you know acha you have started something oh we are going to send our children to you so i was already popular that time Okay. so they brought in new people they sent their children and you know that's how it started and when that started i felt that i should learn more now more okay. as in to assess them and give them more i wanted to give them more so this is something that i am pro at and now i should contribute something more and i again wanted to learn so then i learned that uh, multiple intelligence theory and all by howard yeah. gardner so while i was doing etl uh, we used to use that theory but uh, a very uh, small part of it then i went into detail of that okay how to assess that and use that to assess a child so you must be having lot of tests in corporates also la, and, uh, where you assess a person's strengths and yes, weaknesses yes. and eight yeah. kind of intelligences so now i actually started doing it with children because in 0 to 8 80% of the mental faculties they develop mm mm-hmm. so whatever changes you want to bring about if that is done in the initial years you can program the mind of the child and the complete life of the child is going to be easy so that should not be impl- implemented later on it should be implemented mm. in the initial years so i started okay. doing that you maybe talk about the term you know like concentration enhancement coach okay for me personally like it's something like out of this world because i have heard uh, mindful coaches we have like uh, the we have trainers and all sorts of coaches this term as a coach what it is if you can shed some light on this particular part what does a concentration enhancement coach do so well i was pro at doing cognitive skills i shared with you na okay. so yeah. cognitive skills like uh, they are like observation imagination then problem solving analytical thinking critical thinking logical thinking all of that you know so uh, even concentration is one small part of the uh, cognitive skills so um, thanks to the pandemic uh, somebody else had to tell me that when you are doing your cognitive skills you are only teaching them to concentrate mm mm-hmm. somebody had to tell me that uh, this is a major problem that we, people are facing because when i used to sit down and do assessment i used to observe their attention spans and i used to try to stretch their attention spans only so somebody told me that you are working on concentration man you are that's your passion and children are your passion so that niche clarity that we talk of you know somebody told me it's not uh, the cognitive skills while doing the cognitive skills also you are teaching uh, concentration so mm-hmm. actually concentration is a very even for adults when we talk of you know like uh, in a way if i talk about uh, how old are you uh, mansoor i should not be asking you i am 28 <laughs> okay so how 28. much time are you spending on screen uh, possibly you could say like 8 to 9 hours yeah any day 8 to 9 hours okay and um, you're not married i believe No, obviously I'm not. Yeah, like that gave it away or something because I'm not like shaved or something like that. I'm not married <laughs> or like okay. all of the teachers who can judge. It's all. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> and they say children want to look big, you know. And when they grow yeah. old, they want to look young. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the idea yeah. of human beings. <laughs> so well, it's all right. Why hmm. I wanted to ask is like when you're sitting yeah. with your mom. So uh, when you're talking, mm-hmm. you um, your mom or your friend probably so uh, can you stop that uh, temptation to not look at your screen or are you looking into her eyes and talking to her no like when i'm mostly into concentrations like with my friends or with family members and i always like keep my phone aside or i keep my laptop aside and i i try to have in that conversation more of all okay so oh, that's nice if you are doing that and if it tinkles what do you do no if it tinkles like but see in my house like when particularly in my house so we are not allowed like when, we, when my mom aunties and uncles and all we are talking anyone who picks up their phone you will get a shout from that corner of the room phone each other phone each other but sometimes <laughs> yeah, but sometimes like to be honest sometimes when they have in these conversations and your phone is not on silent or and screen aspect some talking phone because the phone is like the part yeah. which even the screen so just in that aspect 
ह्यूमन माइंड की प्रोग्रामिंग एक्चुअली टेक्नोलॉजी आई थी हमारी लाइफ को इजी बनाने के लिए बट वी बिकम अव टू इट ये मास्टर टेल मी <laughs> I'm at your service. The moment it tinkles, you know. No, <laughs> <laughs> and I read somewhere about this. Like a normal adult uh, human's attention span is hardly like three to four seconds, max to max. Yes, like, less than I that will... of a goldfish. Yeah. Goldfish, yeah. who uh, yeah. tease करने के लिए बोलते थे ना कि notorious fish है. इसका इसका क्या yeah. concentration होता है? It's like a metaphor for not being mm-hmm. able to concentrate. Yes, yes, yes. मतलब बिल्कुल टिक के नहीं बैठ सकती. बट देन उसका उसका भी नाइन सेकंड है हमारा एट सेकंड्स और अब टेक्नोलॉजी और मेट्रोपॉलिटन सिटीज में तो और भी थ्री यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट थ्री टू फोर सेकंड्स दैट्स इट बिकॉज़ मेरे को याद है एक्चुअली दिस शुड एक्चुअली मैंने एक नेटफ्लिक्स पे एक शो देखा था लाइक नोन एज अ सोशल डिलेमा सो उन्होंने ना शायद से वहां पे बताया था यू नो लाइक हाउ पीपल पुट अप दिस मार्केटिंग गिमिक्स एंड सोशल मीडिया एंड एवरीथिंग एंड दे वांट यू टू स्पेंड टाइम ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर प्लेटफार्म स्पेंड टाइम ऑन स्क्रीन But anyway, these are the forms of adults. I think you will have to explain exactly ki how all these things even go on with children. That's what filter ho jata hai. Children, ah, uh, matlab it's like uh, actually if you start something, doing anything. So you uh-huh. know we are talking to our children, and it's like, um, ha, bolo, you know my mobile is, ha, ha, bolo, jaldi bolo. बहुत सारे काम हैं, and I'm doing, I'm, I'm on my mobile only. So what is my okay. child watch, watching? my actions speak speak louder than my words yes yes definitely he said speak and i am on huh. my phone okay what is this wo yeah. kaise nahi wo kaise concentrate karega so this gets filtered to the child but actually if i tell you if i train myself as a mother if i train myself not to you know get attracted towards this phone all the time what will happen my child will automatically follow me and mm-hmm. If I am at some work, just twenty percent of my focus is going to give me eighty percent result. बहुत कम effort लगता है अगर जरा सा concentration हो. Right. You said with a child two hours, two घंटे से लगा मैं उठने नहीं दूँगी तुम जब तक काम finish नहीं करोगे बैठे रहो यहीं पे. दो घंटे से बच्चा बिचारा लगा हुआ है और काम homework नहीं खत्म हो रहा है. Petty homework खत्म नहीं हो. उसको खेलने नहीं दिया जा रहा. And he is not even interested. उसको पढ़ाई से क्या relationship बनेगा? क्या मुसीबत है? है ना तो बेसिकली है क्या कंसंट्रेशन ही तो है hmm. थोड़ा सा कंसंट्रेट कर ले ट्वेंटी मिनट्स में खत्म हो जाएगा वही वही होम टू right. आज तक लिंगर करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है उसका रिलेशनशिप खराब हो रहा है पढ़ाई के साथ सो देर इज अ वेरी बिग नीड टू वर्क ऑन कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन से पहले पेरेंट्स दैट इज वाई यू नो को फाउंडर ऑफ नेक्स्ट जेन पेरेंटिंग ऑल्सो पहले पेरेंट्स को सुधारना पड़ेगा <laughs> हाँ, डेफिनेटली जाके पेरेंट्स वही सब कर रहे हैं तो बच्चा क्या करेगा रोल मॉडल क्या कर रहे हैं उसका हाँ. तो पेरेंट्स को बताना पड़ेगा भाई हमारे पास भेज रहे हो तो पहले आपको सुधरना पड़ेगा this concentration part yes we do yeah. sessions definitely first of all it is the relationship of the parents that matters mm-hmm. if there's lot of stress in the house you know you keep saying cuss words to each other nobody can concentrate in that mm-hmm. environment not even you no adults even can't live in that right, environment right, right, right. very important to keep uh, an environment which is stress free a loving bonded environment in the house so the relationship matters you know Hmm. It's not that the wife is trying to, you know, maintain that relationship for some in some hmm. manner or the other, but the husband is not at it. It will not work. So it both was. parents, it's fifty-fifty parenting. You know, they have to work at it. 
and uh, then you know then they can solve any problem so i have dealt with slow learners it's such a sad thing like while working with this concentration only there was one particular child she was a slow learner and you oh. know there are terminologies called dyslexia autism I, I, oh, all these things are now used you know in our times they just used it thoda sa isko dhyan de do and teachers never use such words and now they are using these terminologies yeah, and the are, parents yeah. are crying to us it's like as if somebody has said tumhare bachche ko cancer ho gaya this terminology is very scary so i had one particular child and uh, you know now i always share these stories about helen keller helen okay. keller was you know able disabled she had three she did not have three senses but her mm-hmm. mother did not believe in that so it's the parent who can bring out the best in their children because they are the authorities for the child right. you know you tell them pagal hai kya and the child will believe that the child would visualize a three times a bigger picture of my pagal you know mm-hmm. and would grow up with that most of our uh, you know problems that we are having as adults they start because parents said something to us mm-hmm. and the parents are not even aware you know this compare usse bhaiya ne mujhe kabhi tang nahi kiya tha tum kitna tang karte ho mujhe you know and the child would feel for no reason he would start hating that brother mm-hmm. so you know they don't know actually it's happening because probably their parents did that and they don't know it's just happening all the time but uh, that uh, slow learner that uh, child who came to me at that point of time you know i just told her just don't believe what somebody has told you and let's start bringing out whatever we can out of her so nice. you know at that time i told you i had done interior designing i was into art yeah, and craft so you have to identify the strengths of the child so whatever the child is good at you know so she was very good at drawing and drawing also was not clear that hand brain coordination had not developed by that time she was mm-hmm. about 6 uh, years old but her hand brain uh, it was not all that clear but she felt that girl felt that she was very good at drawing so you know what i just gave her i told her koi aapke ghar mein function hua tha abhi i just asked her ha ha meri chachi ka baby aaya hai tumhare ghar mein i said just wo draw karke dikhao ki mujhe kaise aaya so mm-hmm. and there were three more children you know norm so called normal children and they drew uh, they drew something uh, that was easy to draw you know we generally when i ask you to draw you will do what what is very easy for you so she I drew a very complicated yeah, yeah what you can you know party yeah, going on balloon right? yeah but how do you like yeah this one sec just adding on that whenever we ask anyone to draw anything like for us adults also the, yeah. the least we can draw is one mountain and one sun <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah really so i wanted what this girl drew yes go ahead continue yes yeah. so uh, the other children drew that table hai balloon stand diye cake ah. pada hai and you know people standing around so that's the easiest birthday hua tha na mera and that's a beautiful event for them also right. and uh-huh. it's easy to draw let me tell you that they don't go to the actual event wo shaadi mein bahut maza aaya tha wo dj kaise banayenge aur wo sab kaise karenge so they go for the easiest part table hat cake okay. bana diya do char log khade kar diye candles dal diye and you know what this girl uh, made i couldn't understand and i asked her to explain that drawing she said yes stairway hai staircase ke niche uh, jo space hota hai small space under the staircase वहां पे ये पेंटिंग लगी है सो यू नो शी ड्रो टू फ्लोर्स ऑफ एन अपार्टमेंट यू नो नीचे स्टेके से क्लाइंब करके जा रहे हैं नीचे हमारी पेंटिंग लगी है स्टेके के ऊपर भी एक पेंटिंग लगी है और कुछ प्लांट्स लगे हुए हैं एंड देन दे एंटर अ रूम सो दिस दिस इज वन एरिया दिस इज द स्टेके एंड देन दिस इज द रूम पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड देयर देयर इज अ बेड एंड ऑन दैट बेड दैट वाज नॉट वेरी क्लियर अ स्मॉल बेबी बट दैट बेबी हर मदर इज होल्डिंग इन हर आर्म्स मम्मा ने उठाया उसको बहुत प्यार किया छोटा सा बेबी था मैम छोटा सा बेबी था बहुत प्यारा था बहुत प्यारा लगता है मेरा भाई यू नो एंड शी ये ये दिया खड़ी है यहाँ पे यू नो एंड शी एक्सप्लेन इट सो ब्यूटिफुली यू नो इट वाज लाइक अ ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी कमिंग आउट ऑफ अ माइंड एंड देन यू नो वी स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद सो दस नथिंग कॉल्ड यू नो autism slow learners every child has got something special had it been like that you know uh, if you if edison's mother had believed that you must It be was. aware of that story also yes yes i am aware of it definitely yeah. even einstein was dyslexic mm-hmm. so you know 
uh, everybody has come for a purpose but if parents could see that and ignite that no yeah, because actually it goes on in yeah, like basically like all of us like when you talk about indian families they all come from dysfunctional families half yeah. of all, all of us come from that particular part you know so like when you have to go and tell people that there is some like uh, like a parents or above them if it'll speak about mental health or we have to speak about anything they will say are chhod do ho jayega ho jayega so don't worry about it so yeah. like when 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 we come from such dysfunctional families okay like i i suppose the children who are coming to you also come from that particular part and there may be some parents who will be like sudhar jayega theek aap kar do aap i mean i'm pretty much sure that as a teacher they are like aapke paas bhej rahe aap kar do usko theek kar do bas yeah. how how do you like transition that particular part about explaining to the parents see see like, this is your kid you have to behave in a certain manner with him or a particular thing how does that conversation go with the parents especially when they come to that with see that trust is there and yes people do trust me when they come over to me and uh, mm. some people are like sabne mana kar diya mam iska kuch nahi ho sakta so mm. uh, they have withdrawn the child also sometimes like that so uh, you know they have to be sent into that environment they are being teased you know the mm. normal children tend to tease such children also because somebody has tagged them with that there are so many problems going on but yet we need to work you know we have to parents are the ones who can build that confidence also so then you know they pour down also they just break down sometimes they tell everything you know there are so many problems going on and behind that also there are other things happening you know the relationship problems and so many other things are going mm-hmm. uh, understanding is not too much all that is happening so you know that point of time only thing that we have to assess is the attention span of the child so like when i'm talking to you how long can you listen to me mm-hmm. so there's nothing wrong about a child having a short attention span so maybe it's one minute only don't worry so the duration of one period even with the normal children it can happen to be only one minute but there's mm-hmm. nothing to worry about because the duration of one period in a school that is 45 minutes 45 minutes yes. so how can you expect that child not to be fidgety in the class to ho gayi office looking here and there and how can you sit for 45 minutes Mm-hmm. but slowly and gradually you know first i asked the parents to fit their conversations in that one minute jo bhi mm-hmm. important baat karni na one minute mein bol ke finish kar do so you uh, you know that is the duration he can listen to you if you prolong your talks you have missed you know wo andar nahi jayega and then slowly and gradually whatever important has to be uh, it has to be said it is in one minute slowly gradually you will see that increasing okay and then you start with activities which you know the child would love to do see you have to get involved with the child apne aap kuch nahi bol you have to be involved so there are interesting activities there are worksheets there are games there are conversations there are stories so many things that suggest that you know that make a difference to the child's life hmm that's true that's so true and selling when anyone watching this particularly when it gets uploaded i think you have given them a very deep insight on this i think normal yeah. people speak about ki bhai aao mera sab khareed lo tumhara bachcha theek ho jayega and everything but you are being very truthful and being honest with them ki no you will have to spend time you will have to be involved that's yes. something is very rare we really hats off to that particular thing what you just said that's something that I... normal people don't understand yeah i you have to be really honest in uh, education yeah. and some with some children you have to tell them we can only take him till here so there was mm-hmm. one child who was autistic and um, uh, he uh, he he was learning english from me, english language okay. so he was very uh, uh, obsessed with hindi language uh, mam mangalwar ko aoge all that you know hindi words used to use very strongly so i specifically i was teaching english language so we could take him till one level only and after that i found out his passion was uh, drumming you know okay. one child whose handwriting is not good he cannot write properly he cannot draw properly but handling five six uh, things at one time you know he could do it so effortlessly so he he's become a drummer now he is given performances in in his college as well and he is a normal child now okay 
very beautiful. You're doing a very amazing job. I was just tell you that. Seriously. Thank you so much. It gives <laughs> me so much happiness, you know, when something beautiful comes out. No, no, it is, it is. I you know honestly, like your name Ruby also, like I mean, the Indian culture also was every every person whose name is Ruby has to be somewhat every second or third Ruby will be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I remember from my childhood even I had like uh, two rubies okay I can relate with that particular part with you <laughs> oh, she has to be a teacher that's wonderful <laughs> and you know what I, I'll yeah. just share with you my grandmother was a teacher okay. and I never wanted to be a teacher <laughs> <laughs> I never wanted to be a teacher <laughs> by default I became a teacher <laughs> no, no, you're doing much more than like, I mean, teachers give you that life stories, education and everything, but you're, you're actually, in a way, you are a teacher, yeah. You're carving I'm children. a teacher only. Really. You <laughs> are, yes. <laughs> My father told me to do beard, but I said, beard nahi karungi, kuch bhi kar lungi. Teacher nahi banda mujhe. <laughs> And I know personally many people who are currently doing beard and their lives are literally miserable. I mean, trust me when I'm telling you that. <laughs> Conventional teacher nahi banna tha mujhe. <laughs> like you need and if it, you really have a passion for it then only you're going to jump into it you know it's, been, it's really strange on that okay, subjects anyway, anyway yes, if somebody can concentrate subjects are just you know easy for them <laughs> there's not, nothing difficult about learning a subject right. it's just language or maths na? Any mm. history is language, science is language. You learn, you read, and you comprehend, and then you express yourself. That's it. And that's the, that's completely. But then again, like you know, like uh, talking about the education system, I don't want to hop into it. We'll go a little bit off topic, but everyone has the criteria to fill. You know, like you have to have so many uh, years of experience and this and that. I think. It's completely like a big mess up, you know. Like I'm not like teachers in this world are doing a very great job, no doubt about it. But definitely, it's like messing around with that. I would just say that. Yeah, I agree. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, talking about the next thing. Now I'm really interested. What exactly happened in interior design? Graduation and now hopped into interior design. We want to know all about it. So give us the story. What exactly happened with interior designing? How it went? <laughs> how it is going right now? Okay. So I, I, as I told you, I failed in. Uh, you know, I, I had given that uh, a DPMT and all. You know, the entrance examination we used to have in uh -huh. our times, medical entrance exam, and that used to be like you know when I used to wear that lab coat, I used to feel wow, my doctor would guess it like Gungi, you know, keep yeah. admiring myself that way, and it was like a dream when that comes to an end, you know. I mean, I couldn't clear it, but I didn't have the courage to give that exam again. I had given all my best, you know. I lost six kgs. Can you imagine? Okay. That time. And I was down in the dumps. Mera clear One of my friends had cleared and I couldn't. She said, Ek bar or try karne. I said, now I can't. I will mm. not try it again. So then, you know, I was in the first year that time and then uh, I completed my graduation. So I was so much into study, study, study that time. So I couldn't sit idle. So I joined a course that I told you, not paintings, wala, metal uh -huh. crafts, metal relief work. So that's a sheet given to you and you trace and then you raise that painting you know it's embossed and uh, even paint work so in the meantime i got a job in canadian high commission okay so you know it just fell on my lap i was not trying for any jobs one of my friends applied and she said to be apply karde. then we got a job so i was staying at pitampura in delhi where are you from mansoor i'm from mumbai okay so it's it's a very long distance about one and a half hours and we used to travel by buses so mm -hmm. I got a job in Nehru place. So mm -hmm. uh, I just went once I went and I felt that it's going to be a waste of time. I should do something more, uh, you know, not just this. So I went there and, and I told that uh, that person who had employed us, uh, I told him if you have any other office in Delhi that should that could be close to our place. So he said, we, I have an office in uh, CP and you can go there. So uh, you'll be trained. So we were going to be trained for some work that was okay. some administrative work only so that was the time when the computers were going coming in and the files were going off so some mm -hmm. data entry kind so that was a small thing my friend had applied and i also went by 
and i cleared that interview so i went to that office and you know they were not very serious kinds you know uh, as somebody uh, phone used to be a very big thing that time you know landlines were there and uh-huh. all the girls and boys they were on the phone so i kept waiting till the lunch you know nobody came and trained us so i was a very serious kind of a child and i was like it a waste of energy ho gaya to i just called him i don't think i'll be able to work here <laughs> and i just quit and after a month or so he appointed us in canadian high commission okay. he was the one so he had got some job work to be done and we had to go to the canadian high commission so that was again you know that was a time i was preparing for bank exams you know again i study was my passion na i got into it to chalo koi aur competitive exams clear karte hain can you remember that was 4000 rupees of uh, probationary officers job was 4000 rupees i still remember and we were really working hard to towards it okay so in the meantime i got this job and there you know friday used to be a half day and i had to go to this uh, uh, art and craft uh, center mm-hmm. learning center and uh, i took my painting along that after half day i'll go and i'll complete this painting there and uh, the high commissioner just happened to pass my room and christmas was on the way and he just saw that and he called me to his room i was so scared i can't tell you i was so scared and i said mujhse kya galti ho gayi mujhe kyu bulaya hai sirf mujhe sab mein se mujhe bulaya i was so scared and then he congratulated me that painting of yours was so good i would like to gift it to my my wife this christmas and uh, how much uh, would you charge for that and i was like this is not complete sir and i didn't know what to say and at that time he gave me 500 rupees for that painting okay my god <laughs> then that seed was sown <laughs> that i am an artist you know <laughs> i make beautiful stuff <laughs> and you know without any intention of selling you know i was able to sell also and i was just jumping after that you know my god wo big gayi aadhi bani hui painting big gayi and then i got passionate about it so then my you know uh, job it was a temporary appointment and the job was done it was over for mm-hmm. uh, about 6 months then right after that i had earned a lot of money over there and i mm-hmm. invested that money for interior design ki aur seekhna hai mujhe art hi aur seekhna hai so again then i when i joined that i was told that it, it is not just about decorating the house as a science behind it the color effects and how you make it uh, gloomy how you make it how you brighten the spaces how you make a small space look bigger and a bigger space look warm and cozy all that you know so i really liked the concept and so i joined and in the meantime i got married <laughs> i got interior designing <laughs> but the beautiful thing was like uh, from a doctor and then you know discovering yourself my art had to be good i used to make so many diagrams you know science is oh. about making so many yeah. files and all also so nice. automatically i learned i was very good at art and uh, all that you know drawing painting and all so that automatic I, that then i realized that i am also that you know i was just discovering myself i am also good at this i am also good at this so i can do something else also <laughs> Okay, so but then, uh, so then, how did the transition happen? Okay, it's like uh, we got to know the story about interior designing. So then, through interior designing, you decided, okay, arts or a cheese or it. Then you, then you transition into like a children and parenting. Was it? It wasn't yeah. like from there. It was not easy, you know. Uh, I, as I told you. i had contacted one furniture wala while doing interior designing uh-huh. and uh, you know i was making those backs of the beds with that uh, metal relief work mm. so he had lot of uh, you know orders after right after just two ba- bed backs i made one with the paint work one with the embossed work and uh-huh. uh, it was my mehndi ki raat and i was delivering that stuff so <laughs> right after that uh, he had so many orders for me but i was on bed rest that time i couldn't do it so we think now we decide in life but you know life decides for us you know it's right. you have you have to live in acceptance also so i was struggling i was frustrated and i was not happy that time that was the time i was settling down in my marriage also and uh, with no work to do it was like itna sab pada sab sab nali mein chala gaya kya <laughs> you know what do i do now right. so but you have to be in acceptance and yes you have to be patient enough because life gives you opportunities to express all that Very nice. 
I think that you have learned those ways. I that is something I've learned over the years. All right. We're moving and on to the next question. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Continue. Please, please. That happened. I'm sorry. I just got lost. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, then interior designing was there and uh, it, it was not easy to do export. I did. I told you I did export marketing after that. Right, right. You but did. it was not easy. Absolutely not easy. And my husband couldn't leave his work. That time he was very busy in his business. So uh -huh. in one of the exhibitions, I met uh, somebody from ETL. And uh, that lady, uh, Pramila Nanda, she gave me that presentation. And uh, I was impressed. That was a time I shared with you. Now, my son was not doing good at uh, his uh, yeah. colors and all. So she shared something about, you know, uh, different uh, ways to teach a child, you know. Uh, some children learn by listening. Some children learn by visualizing and some children by doing. So I, when she was talking, I could just figure out, you know, Diwali was on the way and uh, I got some diyas. I dipped my uh, son's fingers in uh, colors and I asked him to paint that. I was into painting that time. Yeah, and obviously. He learned, <laughs> he so I realized there are different styles of teaching, you know, okay. auditory, visual and kinesthetic. And I was impressed by the presentation, but uh, it was very expensive. I couldn't buy that. So I joined the company. Okay. I wanted, I badly wanted the product for myself. But my husband was like, Pagal hai kya? Deed lakh ka product. Ab kya padhe likhe nahi hai? Inhi kitabo se kya bachche padhte hai? And I was like, nahi, mujhe chahiye. And he was like, nahi, I, I don't agree with your opinion. So I was like, thik hai, maaf se join kar leti. I'll earn and buy myself. But I need it. I was okay. very sure about it. So that was just one reason. I just want, I had gone to the company to buy the product for myself. But in the process, so many things happened. You know, I, I just, I became a very integral part of the company. Okay. <laughs> so that, like that's how I entered. Yeah, it's huh? like, you have to take <laughs> so life is very unpredictable you know kaise yeah. twists or turns so uh, i attended that training and you know uh, it was north delhi north delhi was a very uh, you know conservative kind of a place where mm -hmm. the mother in law father in law the whole family used to sit for the presentation and then they would tell the daughter in law same what my husband used to tell pagal hai kya kitab aur itni mehangi kaise lega koi you know but then over a period of time, you know, the wives used to shell out the money and they used to decide, nahi, ye to lena padega. Bohat achha hai. Bohat achha product hai, you know, that ways. So it started like that. So before that also, there was very many problems. Uh, I would just share something very nice that That's happened. Amazing. My experiences in ATL were great, you know, some precious things they have given me. So I had gone for a presentation and after the training, so she was my training manager. So in the morning, I was making Shahi Paneer. Okay. So I couldn't drive that time. So I had that, uh, you know, temptation that my husband should drop me somewhere. So I had to go for my work. And I had only three hours to work. 12.30, my son used to come back. So nine o'clock, I had to reach there. So I was making Shahi Paneer. And suddenly, you know, I was in a hurry. And, uh, you know, it just, the uh, mixer grind, I was just, uh, grinding it and it just popped on my face you know that all that masala came on my face okay. and um, I was like uh, no but I have given her time so my husband said we have to go to the doctor now the hal the hala kya ho gaya. so I said I washed my face and you know it was burning very badly oh, and masala, uh, <laughs> masala yeah and uh, he said uh, I just went to the doctor and uh, he gave me medicines and all and after that I went for the presentation so mm -hmm. only three hours I used to have for working before my children used to come back. So uh, my training manager, she said, now you start the presentation. So we were, we had an appointment with somebody and we were sitting across that lady. And I was like, I can't speak, you know. Okay. How can I speak? I don't know. I've just come in the company and how can you expect me to speak? Uh, she said, once or twice you have to make a fool of yourself, Ruby. Okay. But you have to speak. I don't know what all I blurted that day, but there was no looking back after that. I kept blurting out. That's how it started, you know. 
I couldn't speak in front of uh, anybody. I was such a timid person that time and scared if I say something wrong. We used to have a script and we had to say, you know, one thing after the other, followed by the other. And yes, then I beca became seasoned at it. Then I started conducting parenting sessions, all that. <laughs> all that started happening. So you became a pro at the end of it. Yeah, that's how it started, you know. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, like for three hours and working and having masala fallen in your face and then eventually like going with that journey, big thing, yeah. And what yeah. is the time span for you to like going from that uh, period to like where you were like in the initial stages, how much time did it take you to become that particular thing where you were like able to go forward and give presentations and everything? How many months was that? Um, I joined and after that for three months, I didn't work at all. Okay. I mean, I was just collecting that courage. And then uh, they called me up to tell me that we can go along with you. So, okay. first time she went and she made me do it. Your first, so, very first time when you were on that, and she just asked you to go and speak about it. She did one presentation, and the second presentation, she said, You will do it. Okay. And I was like, Mujhe nahi aata. Tumko sab aata hai. Training ho chuki hai tumhari. So, you have to speak now. <laughs> Open your mouth. So that was how. And the second time it so happened, uh, we used to fix up uh, sessions in schools, okay. uh, play schools and big schools also. So I had fixed one uh, one session. So about there were about 100 parents invited in that session. And on that, so all the managers, you know, they used to conduct it for us. So uh, I had fixed and it so happened, one of the managers was sick and all the other managers in Delhi, they were all occupied that day. So I called up the regional manager asking, uh, so who's going to do my uh, session tomorrow? My workshop is uh, lined up tomorrow. Uh, she said, um, but everybody is busy. I said, how can you say that? 100 people have been invited. Ka hai. How can you say this? Somebody has to come. Uh, she said, when nobody comes, you take the initiative. I said, I can't do it. I just can't do it. How can, I, how can you expect me to do it? She said, you can do it. I'm telling you, Ruby, you can do it. And I was looking at it. Don't do that to me, Renu. I just can't do it. I know I can't do it. She said, but I know that you can do it. I couldn't sleep that night. That first time when I had to conduct the whole day, I sent my children to my mom's place. And the whole night, poor thing, my husband kept listening to my presentation. I was like, I don't know what <laughs> what problem was I and my legs were trembling when I started speaking but after that everybody was like wow you've done a wonderful session you, I was mesmerized all those comments when I was reading it was like you know wow <laughs> then there was no looking back all right <laughs> all right we'll move on to the next question then okay since we are on the topic of like children on that end so before anyone, any parent comes to you with saying that my child is a slow learner, he has he doesn't concentrate. And what are the few steps you take, uh, you know, as like uh, your initial stages, you could call it. What are you looking forward like? You know, looking into it like giving the what is the examination or how do you examine these particular kids? Okay, so first of all, what all you what is the routine of the child? Yeah. How the time is being spent with that child, and. Mm -hmm. um, in that conversation, I come to understand, you know, uh, what, what kind of relationship they are having. When they are explaining, hum aise karte hai, aise karte hai, all that. So you get a little idea whether their relationship is good or no. But I don't comment on that. I don't say. You can't say na, direct, in direct speech. And right. so many times, children come back and they tell you, Ki, Aaj aise bol diya, papa ne, mamma ko, and all that. There's something wrong in the relationship so many times because it's not easy to bring bring up a uh, slow learner so many times the mother or the father they you know curse each other because of your family there's somebody so many things happen you know uh, so the reason is not just that that one problem there are so many things happening behind the scenes so i don't have to say anything about that i just understand and then only thing i, I start working is how they are uh, spending the time with the child and how much is the attention span of the child and what are the interests of the child? So there, there are some strengths and there are some weaknesses. So we start focusing on the strengths of the child. 
and through that we get the passage of overcoming the weaknesses like suppose uh, with a normal child also or with a uh, problem child also suppose i am not interested in maths mm -hmm. but i am a visual learner so maths is uh, you know i can live my life with a calculator also that's all right now कुछ प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं हो जाएगा नहीं यहाँ तो तो क्या हो गया बट स्कूल तो पास करना है सो हाउ विल वी टीच सच अ चाइल्ड ऐसे बच्चे को कैसे पढ़ाएंगे सो देन वी ट्राई टू असेस व्हाट व्हाट इज इज लर्निंग स्टाइल सपोज ही इज अ विजुअल चाइल्ड विल गो बाय एबिकस मैथ्स उससे सिखा दो बहुत मजा आएगा सो ऑल कॉन्सेप्ट कैन बी यू हैव टू फिगर आउट द पैसेज कैसे उसको पढ़ाना है हाउ यू हैव टू एंटर द माइंड ऑफ दैट चाइल्ड और अटेंशन स्पैन क्या है यू नो शॉर्ट शॉर्ट अटेंशन स्पैन को फुलफिल करते हुए यू टेक इट फर्दर दैट्स हाउ ओके व्हाट वुड बी योर टिप्स फॉर आवर व्यूअर्स वाचिंग ओवर हियर हु वांट टू लाइक एनहांस देयर कंसंट्रेशन व्हाट वुड यू गिव देम टिप्स सी वन इज लिविंग इन द प्रेजेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सो लाइक we get overwhelmed with thoughts you know we as when we are sitting alone or even if we are if i start reading there are so many times that when we are reading we keep getting distracted so we have to be conscious of the fact that we are getting distracted mm -hmm. and screen time has to be restricted when you are working on something important just keep that phone away from you there's something called uh, voice messaging you are not using it how many of us are using it right so distraction is the cause of stress distraction is the cause of less productivity and uh, all relationship problems also you know when you have good relationships it's only that you are able to listen to each other mm -hmm. so many young uh, children you know i see they are on a date and both of them are there on their mobile which is such a sad thing in our times we used to look at each other's eyes na <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's okay. something this generation is missing out so just be there and when you are there with a the person there's nothing that can replace that can be replaced by a human touch all our hugs they have gone they are fading out you know Definitely. so called busy tag is added to our lives and it's not working out it's, this is the reason nobody was into depression in our times you know i mean agar depression hota to to people used to pull him out kya ye kya ho raha hai what is wrong with you so human touch is something you know if you get 12 hugs in your life in your day one day you will never go into depression so what mm -hmm. is more important technology or human touch human touch obviously yeah. is good depression mein jaana hai kyun jaana hai zarurat kya hai and uh, you know when we talk to somebody let's not curse anybody mm -hmm. there are so many openings of our body and if you examine every opening is stinking let not your tongue stink you know mm -hmm. say something nice empowering whenever you open your mouth say something empowering to somebody don't hurt anybody right that's going to bring about a beautiful change in the world you know just love everybody unconditionally we got minds why should we judge or analyze somebody except mm -hmm. the way people are life is simple but we are complicating it it is why should we complicate na yes and just love everybody unconditionally everybody has something special to contribute and be open to that don't judge analyze or you know hurt people so when stress is gone you'll be able to concentrate and just 20% focus is required to finish anything you'll be more productive and happy in your life mm, fair enough so what would be, i mean since you're talking about uh, you know stress and trauma and all that so like it's a number one thing that whether which we are kids or adults we all have that suddenly like in this in this ages like in the last 15 to 10 years mental stress is gone to another level you know like when you talk about people having mental problems stress issues childhood trauma all that so if someone was particularly watching this like whether they are parents children or people who are the entrepreneurs and all those people how does one should look after their mental health balance everything okay balance your work and when you are at work just work when you are at home just be at home 
and there are uh, so many things like i have one uh, module uh, which i work with children when i work with children i talk about teaching them how to be stress free you know how to create a balance in their life so you know your mind rules psychology rules your physiology mm -hmm. so your mind can rule your body so right. i'm feeling sad now and i tell myself i'm not going to get up today i'm not going to eat anything i will not talk with anybody i have decided so your body can also rule your mind you know that that's what i'm trying to com mm -hmm. communicate here so right. then a phone call comes i get a call from the bank and you know they tell me aapko ye dekar jana hoga and it's very important so i have to get up dress up and somehow i go there but after i come back my mood is fine mm -hmm. so what is it your physical body is also ruling your mind na is, so this yes. one particular yeah so you have created a balance in your life Mm -hmm. so what is it so uh, we have some exercises to help you do that some mental exercises to create okay. a balance one is you be there wherever you are you have to be there being present in the present so if you are at work be at work if you are at home just be at home don't think about work that time that is the mantra then the second thing is if still that is not working out you have to do some exercises so one exercise i'll teach you this is a bird suppose you make a v with your hand okay i'm going to be a pen so yeah and then this is the uh, you're shooting the bird right okay so shoot the bird like that bird comes here and you have to shoot here okay you come on do it okay <laughs> okay okay <laughs> just do time. it okay it's not happening by me obviously ठीक है गॉड So what is happening now? The science behind it, I'll just share with you. So when you're moving the right side of your body, your left brain is working, mm -hmm. and when you it's vice versa. When you move the left so part of your body, your right brain is working. So I'm making both the brains work together in synchronization with each other. Okay. So I'm trying to create a balance here, and there's no question of you know being depressed or sad or gloomy after doing these exercises. so there's a beautiful uh, you know module that i follow to create a balance also so we have tips and techniques to do that also you can join us for that <laughs> <laughs> you have to come to stories with my ruby vadva <laughs> <learn that. laughs> okay if, what would be a few recommendations to anyone who wants to join you in your profession what he or she must do well one is unconditional love one should have and uh, yes uh, passion you have to be passionate about it. one again here my profession not only my profession now there are so many things coming up uh, mind you i have learned so many things from young people now nish clarity <laughs> so you have to find out your passion what you are passionate about and what you are good at your strengths work on your strengths only and whatever you are passionate just make your passion your profession and you will excel in life definitely that's the mantra it took me so many years to understand now what i'm good at and what i'm passionate about so. definitely yes as you just explained it to us a long yeah. journey <laughs> it's a long see where all i went and you know the trajectory changed and so many things happened i couldn't figure out what i was good at so now yeah. you have ways and means to identify that there are so many people sitting just to help you do your niche clarity now to you don't have to waste your time i wasted lot of time in my life <laughs> <laughs> that thing is a waste of time <laughs> yeah and now i use art as a therapy for children you know so mm -hmm. nothing is waste this yes. okay moving on now to the personal side of the questions okay so uh, since you have become like a concentration enhancement coach okay on a professional level how it has affected your personal life i'm very happy i'm able okay. to concentrate more on myself and my family also <laughs> 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 i'm helping others and i'm applying it on myself also you know what, what when i say you should concentrate then four fingers point at me you know i also concentrate yes i ask myself have you concentrated today <laughs> so i have to concentrate it's helping me <laughs> i'm a happier person now okay what is your what is your way of relieving stress i meditate one and yes i go out for a walk that's my best way of relieving myself when i go for a walk i just feel very happy 
going also I walk, relate. Like, yeah, in in a park or with trees. I relate a lot with trees. And then I was reading about that also. That's also a way of stress uh, relieving, relaxation methodology because endorphins are secreted when you're walking amongst the nature. So I found out the reason why I am relaxed. <laughs> when walking in nature. And definitely others will also once they once they see and hear this. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Talking about like a few like uh, sometime back when you said life doesn't go as well as planned. So how did you deal with the bad times? There was somebody who came. You know, it's always God's and somebody or the other who approached me when I was you know down in the dumps. Somebody came by and. He pulled me out, out, out of that. Like uh, even the jobs, the works that I was doing, it's never been that, you know, I went into a very bad time. The moment it started, somebody was there to pull me out of that. So this is the reason we should have good friends around. I got a lot of love from people. You know, uh, I'm connected with a lot of loving people around. They love me so much. That is why you, you nothing can replace this uh, human connection, you know. We need to love people unconditionally without expecting anything. I have wonderful people around me. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even my ETL, you know, when I, I lost uh -huh. my father, that was one time. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when somebody dies, my father was very dear to me and he was the inspiration behind me. So uh, it was like you can't die with that person, but you feel like dying. It it's does. I, I can completely with you. Yes. Yeah. So uh, then uh, that was a time, you know, I was not responding on phone. I was just down in the dumps. You don't feel like talking to anybody. Na. It's just you're just down in the dumps and you don't know what is going wrong with you. You're you want to die. You want to die. Yeah. I want to go with this person. We were just living. Right? Yeah. So that was a time my uh, regional manager, she came down and she met up with me. And she started giving me more responsibilities. She said, you'll do this for me? That's how she used to, you know, with loving, all that love, she used to bring, you'll do, you'll do this for me? Okay. Chalo, I just do this by this time. Okay. And that's how. You know, just for her sake, because she loved me so much, I couldn't say no. And I was just coming out of it. And still, I feel very blessed, you know. I've been surrounded by beautiful people. Then my uh, manager, she started working closely with me. She started going around with me. They never left me alone. That's one beautiful thing. Pramila Nanda, thank you to you. <laughs> there are so many people, beautiful people, who just you know, pulled me out of it. So what would be your favorite getaway? Oh, I love traveling, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked you that one. <laughs> so, uh, any historical place, you know, uh, Jaipur, I've been so many times, but I still loving, love going to that Amir Ka Kila and, you know, uh, looking at those costumes of those Rajas and all. History is something that, uh, you know, pulls me, that attracts me so much. So, so I love traveling to historical places. Historical yeah. places. Understanding I, you know, the other day we went there and uh, there was a guide explaining to somebody. So he was talking about their drainage patterns, how mm -hmm. they used to pull water from the ground and how it used to work in those times. And then I was relating. Now the drainage system is not all that good, which used to be good at that times. They used to be mindful about the flow of the water. This is why every time it rains, Delhi is drowning. So there's something wrong with the drainage system. It is, it is. It's with, it's with all cities actually, even with Mumbai specifically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that planning of that city is not all that right. It there is has not. Something needs to be done about it. So that has to be recycled some way. We need to be mindful about the flow of the water. That's it. What would be the one book that you would recommend our industry read or something that you love? So recently I was reading uh, Ikigai. So books are like the best friends I've had, you know. Okay. So sometimes, let me tell you, um, whatever problem I'm going through, uh, I'm blessed with something. I get that solution in that uh, book. 
as if the book is talking to me and she's telling me that a uh, solution so i think and now i just came to discover that uh, if you type your problem you get the names of that uh, book coming up because seven eight people have been through that particular same problem that uh, you are going through so you don't have to reinvent the wheel just go to that book and discover the solution mm -hmm. because so abhi i am going through ikigai it's a beautiful book everybody should read that you know when you no. concentrate you get into that flow and flow is something that can help you do mundane tasks also it's very boring things that you have to do in the day during the day even that becomes interesting it's a beautiful book a japanese way of you know living since uh, you have brought up the thing about living uh, and uh, things like being happy what is happiness to you Oh, happiness is again living in the moment. Okay. And being satisfied with whatever is coming by. Acceptance. You know, whatever is come by, you have to trust the Lord that nothing wrong can happen to me. And whatever is happening is the best, you know. Just, just that trust. You have to flow with that flow of life. So when you struggle to go against that flow, that is when the problem comes by. So just go on accepting things and just flow. With it, don't resist. <laughs> If someone walks up to you today and asks you, like, um, "Are you successful?" Okay, are you successful? Um, how would you answer that particular person? Yes, I am. I am successful now. Now also, and every every uh, stage of life has different uh, definition of success. You know, when I was small, so then. getting those marks was important in uh, you know 12th class you aspire for a particular college so i could get that and uh, you know at every stage success, then you start aspiring for your children uh, how they should be successful you should be able to contribute whether you're working then work front uh, professional front all that so well i have a bundle of successes uh, with me now and yes now for, for me success would be touching as many lives as i can 100000 is what i have thought for myself yes if i could touch miles to go before i sleep whatever i can i should be able to contribute yeah definitely okay the last person question okay uh when you when you are like with uh, when you when you are like uh, with counseling with children and others that way has there been any moment in your life where it initially like i wouldn't say broke you down but um, you know like uh, you know you got emotional and you were like i can do this for this particular kid i can do that is there any kind of a moment that has happened with your life or that time? everybody that gets connected with me i'm always on a emotional front that's that's really? my problem people have started telling me that that's you are you are very emotional ruby that's a problem you know you should not be that emotional i so many times when they are telling me their problems i break down okay. i can feel their problems you know like as if it's being told to me as if it is happening to me i can feel that and this is the reason i am able to work with all my sincerity with them mm -hmm. i am able to understand their problems so well that i want to give my best to them and help them come out of that problem every person you i can vouch on that regard you know every single person has come in contact with me they remember me for their life you know because i am so emotional i'm very emotional now to uh, this uh, there were times you know when i was not all that affluent also and uh, you know that that uh, that comes uh, me very naturally i've seen my parents working like that only so i don't want to mention that incident <laughs> uh <laughs> what you have you know it it was like you know what we had one system when i was working with the etl so the, uh, some if somebody had to join they were supposed to pay a certain amount and join the training session and when they buy they used to get that uh, uh, same product at a little better price right so there was one particular lady and her husband was suffering from paralysis okay. and she had three children and uh, she liked the product and uh, she was teaching uh, many children she was taking tuition she was not even a regular teacher with no you know monthly salary coming by and she was spending four people you know three children and her husband who was on bed 
and uh, she liked the product and she said that um, you, you know what i think i can work towards it but i don't have the money to go for the training and uh, we could see that in the same house her husband was on bed also and uh, we just came out and i just had a word with my team i said can we do something about it so he said everybody said we uh, it's not right that we should be paying for her so uh, then there was another plan going on wherein you know if you could uh, buy so many books then you don't have to pay for the training about it. so i just happened to ask him can we uh, get orders uh, for her so everybody agreed and you know what we were four of us and we all worked towards it and we made her join the company so this was the time you know when we were not all that affluent that we could pay for somebody's training amount also but together you know as a team we worked towards it and we helped her that time and that was so nice you know everybody with the same thought process everybody you know working towards helping somebody that was so empowering for me it is obviously yeah, it's like a very interesting <laughs> and how how is yeah. the lady doing right now is she like fine have you followed up with her any time soon ab now i'm not in touch with her <laughs> when her children grew up that that's long back that's about 25 years ago okay that's so long back so when her children were going to be admitted that time she had my number and she got in touch with me she was having some problems uh, in getting admissions and all so she wanted some help from my daughter so i connected that time and then i lost touch with her okay definitely we have like spoken about a sunday i'm going to meet her up <laughs> yeah she's there in my mind she's yeah. still there in my mind yeah the universe works in very mysterious ways <laughs> yeah it surprises you so many times it surprises you it does okay so let's move on to the third segment now it's going to be choose one leave one okay uh, given okay this is a question okay given back to going back in time okay given a yeah. chance to go back in time what is that one thing or that one person you would like to meet again and why my father okay and uh, yes he is the one behind whatever i am today i miss him i still miss him whenever something good happens to me i remember him papa kitne khush hote na mujhe dekhte to i do think about him well yeah it's i can completely relate to that <laughs> all right moving on to the next question okay uh if you wouldn't have kids of your own okay would you yet able to love the children who are coming to you yet yeah that's uh, even before i had my children i was naturally in love with children you know what i started teaching children when i was in 10th class that came so naturally to me you know teaching somebody that mm-hmm. was a very uh, obvious thing i never had to think about it so i love children from the very beginning there used to be one child our know, next door neighbor and uh, i used to play hours and hours with that child i think that was naturally that was one of my uh, uh, you know my natural love my uh, mama ji still and i from uh, college children go out and they bunk the college and they go out to watch movies i used to go to watch movies also but uh, you know whenever we used to have one day when uh, i used to get free at 2:30 so i used to pick up a bus and i used to go and meet up my mama ji's children i okay. loved them so they were small and i used to go and meet up and play with them i love children <laughs> from the very <laughs> big <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay given the chance that uh, given an opportunity i would say given an opportunity you're on a you're on like on a worldwide uh, you know tour who's that one person you would want to take along with you my husband <laughs> yeah <laughs> i have not spent enough time with him as yet <laughs> and that's on my mind still i want to go for a world trip with him <laughs> my daughter is married now and okay. uh, yes my son may also get married very soon so okay. that's one thing i keep telling him dono ki shaadi karke na we'll go on a world trip room mein jayenge okay Yeah, someday, someday if he ever has a fight with you, somebody can always show him this coffee conversation. Like, oh, I have said. 
<laughs> definitely this is recorded now right, it is it is don't worry it is it's going to be uploaded yeah. on youtube so don't worry <laughs> yeah <laughs> this right. is nice you're telling me when we have a fight i'll tell him dekho main kya kya bolti hu okay before we end the conversation is it like would you like to tell something motivational or some advice to our viewers anything at random see whatever the situations are one has to be happy you know if it is good or bad that is what life is all about there are going to be stress there are going to be troughs in your life but zindagi pyar ka geet hai jisme har dil ko gana padega that's right <laughs> that's absolutely right sabko right gana padega rightfully said <laughs> rightfully said yeah what do you say it is it's a fact you yeah. know at the end we it's one thing what i believe is like we just have one life and if you are going to waste yeah. that particular life on us hurting and hating na you never going to grow yeah that growth mindset will vanish completely like a seed only thinks about growing up and with all that negativity it's like a seed it's going to drain you out only it's it's going to take away all your energies so you know there's no time to hate anybody no time for negativity we have to understand that way because it's going to ultimately the other person might not even know that you hate him or you're thinking something negative but your energies will be drained out it will so for yourself you know there's no time for negativity har dil ko gana padega you have to be happy gana padega tabhi cheap ji payenge there's no point you know depression aur uske liye kyon spend kar waste karna hai time just get up and work and work is something that gives you so much happiness na khushi aati hai what is it and it is get with that i can relate with it because i like whatever you've explained about children and everything trust me i am one of those kind of children i can tell you that <laughs> wow as in so i am slow learner okay ayo i am a slow learner i had been uh, diagnosed with dyslexia i have stammering issues had all that sort of stuff ayo yeah so i know that never met me <laughs> मैंने ठीक कर दिया होता तुमको <laughs> तो do you think there's any concept like slow learning dyslexia ऐसा कुछ होता है क्या honestly like scientifically होता रहेगा but honestly like since i'm speaking about this and we are we all relate with it i think uh, the only problem right you now with every person is they're just less loved and cared for yeah hai na uh, yeah if you actually have that love and care no bhai bolta na jaise ek dusre ke liye the that song Ah, ah. But uh, you know, it's like as long as you love and you care for each other, na, anything is possible. Yes, yes. That's something. Hey, was such a thing. I have, I have experienced it in my lifetime for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the so the pro the uh, you know crux of the problem is love only that unconditional love. Unconditional. That love. is very much required and human touch. that can solve all the problems there's one uh, conversation with a psychologist he was asked a question so how do you go about curing patient, your patients he said uh, with a dose of love so what if still it is not getting cured he said just increase the dose of love <laughs> yeah it is it is that this is a complete complete thing love is the key here at the end of it nothing else that's it and unconditional love you know we tell our children ye karoge to aapko ye milega are aap if the parents will not love who will love your children yaar it is it is ye karne pe ya ye usse kyun pyar karna aise hi pyar karna jaise aap ho ab best ho ab sabse pyare ho mere liye it is all right Okay, it was a fun conversation, Ruby, with you. Amazing, but strands of time. Same here. Same here. Yeah. 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 Yeah
same yeah <laughs> yeah this was a beautiful conversation i definitely hope to see you on our next coffee conversation yaar yeah. shayad sure. wo personal hoga to aur maza aayega <laughs> sure sure i'm also looking forward to it thank you so much thank, thank you, you so and have a nice day yaar yeah. have a good evening take care so privilege to be at your platform bye bye take bye-bye. care bye bye take care